What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today Apple has released a new software update, iOS 10.0.3. So it's a very, very tiny one, and it's mainly focused on one issue. So in this video, I just wanna show you guys what's new in this update, everything you guys need to know, should you update, you know, basically a little update about this update. So this is a very limited release. You're only gonna see it if you have the new iPhone 7, and this goes for both the GSM and CDMA models, as well as the iPhone 7 Plus. So if you're wondering why you're not seeing this in your over the air updates page, it's probably because you don't have one of these newer phones. So once I do clear that up, I just want to show you guys, this is what it will look like. It's a very, very tiny update, like hundred megabytes max. So there is one thing in the change log and that's for devices with cellular connectivity issues. And I personally have been affected. So if I go ahead and and enable my service uh, sometimes you'll get just drop service for no reason and i'll get all my bars they will just disappear and i'll have no service left the data will be gone so i've noticed that issue was intermittent it would happen on and off and this latest update will fix that so you guys will no longer get dropped service you'll have pretty stable calls i haven't noticed any uh, carrier updates in here that i can speak of but this is definitely recommended if you guys have any of those issues other than that, if you go through it, you will not find anything else. I'm actually a little bit surprised that Apple didn't roll this into iOS 10.1. It was just a tiny little update before the main update. So I haven't really noticed anything else. And just for the sake of it, I'm gonna go ahead and run a Geekbench test on this iOS 10.0.3 device and a 10.0.2 device just to see if there is any difference. So over here, we're gonna go ahead and take this out of airplane mode, not that it really matters. And I'm gonna run a Geekbench test in here. And while this is running, just wanted to take a moment to uh, mention iOS 10.1. So we all know this is basically focused on the larger 7 Plus models with portrait mode. So I gotta say, I'm really, really excited for it. But everybody else does have something to be excited for as well. So iOS 10.1 will greatly, greatly improve the speed of your device, the animations. I've noticed it is so, so much more responsive when going into the app switcher. And for whatever reason, I have my motion turned off over here. But anyways, if you guys were waiting for the major speed differences, you will not see them in iOS 10.0.3. You'll see them in 10.1. So that's it. But one last thing I wanted to mention is sadly today, Apple did not announce the new MacBook event, which they were supposed to. And I'm so disappointed because it is so, so long overdue for new MacBooks. We need new processors. We need new GPUs. We need DDR4 RAM. No MacBook even comes with DDR4 yet. I think just Apple is so, so far behind in their MacBook game, their Mac game in general. So man, I was really hoping for that event to be announced today, but still it's rumored to happen on October 27th with a release later in November of new hardware. So I'll keep you guys updated on that just as soon as I find anything out. But anyways, in a moment here, this should finish up and I'll let you know if it's any faster. All right, so here is iOS 10.0.2, pretty good scores. And here is iOS 10.0.3. So behind by just a little bit on both scores. And this is how it is every time a new software update comes out. Not sure why the pattern is. Is the file system still setting up? I don't know, but it's a little bit behind. Not really something you should be worried about. But there it is, guys. iOS 10.0.3 is here. Should you guys update, I say absolutely go for it. I mean, if you have a 7 or a 7 Plus and you don't want to be experiencing cellular issues, especially if this is a work phone or something like that, I mean, do it. There's no reason not to. As far as the jailbreak goes, I've had people ask me, what's going on? Where is it? Well, really, here's actually a little chart to see how long it took after the release of a new software update before a jailbreak came out. And we're not even that far in yet, so give it some time, give it some patience. Hopefully a jailbreak team delivers, but right now a jailbreak has been possible by members of the community, of the jailbreak community that will not be releasing it. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. There it is, 10.0.3. Have a great day, peace.